Uh, oh, where are they? I was literally over the other day. Rosie, what are you doing? I'm looking for my sunglasses. Uh, what do you need your sunglasses for? So, so I can look for the sun. What, what do you mean looking for the sun? I mean my son and dark souls. Solera Vestora. Duh. Hello and welcome to PlayStation Access. My name is Rosie. And today I would like to tell you a tale of a very recent, stressful and bizarre quest I went on in Dark Souls Remastered. Now I'm sure many viewers out there already know of Solera. An NPC in Dark Souls who you come across on your adventures and can help you under some circumstances. And if you don't know him, I'm sure all I need to say is praise the sun and you will have a rough idea on who he is. Rosie, could you please take that bucket off your head now? No! For those of you who know of his questline in Dark Souls already, you may be thinking that this tale will be a simple, standard and linear story. But trust me, my tale for you today is anything but. I started playing the remastered version of Dark Souls on PS4 back in May 2019. This was my first Dark Souls game. It had been a long time since I finished Bloodborne and I was ready to finally delve into it after hearing so much about it. And initially, I was having a lovely time. Leveling up, fighting things, adapting my gameplay style as I'm not as quick as I was in Bloodborne, not having fun as this knight would not let me kill him in An Orlando and his arrows were really, really getting to me. And I got all the way to the Crystal Cave, which I would say is over halfway through the game. Then... something happened. Something I'm sure will be familiar to a lot of you. While I'd been playing Dark Souls, I was also playing Final Fantasy X, and at this point, I finally finished it. I enjoyed Final Fantasy X so much that I jumped straight into Final Fantasy IX, which completely absorbed me and quickly became one of my favourite games ever. Then right around this time, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled was released. And, you know, since I am a bandicoot, I had to play that too. Ta -da! And you can tell where this is going. Dark Souls was left alone. My knight was left sat at the bonfire in the Duke's archive, wondering when they'd get past the Crystal Cave. Worse still, when I tried to pick it up again, I'd lost my momentum. I couldn't get back into it. So I decided that I would come back to it when I was ready, and left myself some notes in the case for when I continued my journey. And that time came a couple of weeks ago. A friend of mine recently got in touch to say they were interested in playing Dark Souls with me. Let's call him Bart, because that is his name. So suddenly, I was back in, and I needed to get up to speed. I loaded up the game again, and... I had no idea what was going on. I knew how to get to the Crystal Cave, but I'd forgotten everything else, and my notes weren't any help at all. Why did I name one of the dragons after my boyfriend? Only past Rosie knows the answer to this. So I turned to the internet. I don't like looking up advice during my first playthroughs of Souls games, but it had been nearly two years and my save was mid-game. Can you blame me? Very soon, I got back in the swing of things and started killing bosses. See if the scale is... BAM! Pinwheel... I'm level 63 at this point, I missed him the first time round. WABAM! And I started thinking, I'm nearly ready, I think I should look up how to do online co-op. And this is where my Dark Souls world got turned completely upside down. To access online co-op in Dark Souls, you need an item called the White Sign Soapstone which, I learned, is only obtainable through a character called Solaire. Solaire, I thought? Who on earth is that? As soon as I looked him up, I realised exactly who it was. It was the Praise the Sun Man. Oh my god, the Praise the Sun Man! He was pretty much the only thing I knew about Dark Souls prior to picking it up. That and the fact that everyone seemed to love him. When I first started the game in 2019, I was really looking forward to meeting this Praise the Sun character. Except, I now realised I never found him. I think I only came across him once when I had the option to summon him for a fight, which I got very excited about on Twitter. And at the time, I didn't really think about it. I just figured that he would appear later on in the game. Only somehow, I'd missed him. And now I needed to find him not only for the soapstone, but also because I really, really wanted to get to know this character. So fine, I thought, let me look up where you first find him. At the end of the bridge where you encounter the drake. Great, he must be there. 
and this is an iconic early game location that I can access easily. Except he wasn't there. Okay, this is a problem. I started messaging a friend who knows the game inside out, telling her that I'd already looked for Solaire at the bridge. So she told me to go to Anor Orlando. I went to Anor Orlando, where he would sit peacefully by the bonfire. He wasn't there. She mentioned the sunlight altar, and I told her I'd already looked. She then asked if I had defeated a centipede boss, which I definitely knew I hadn't, and then she said that in order to get the soapstone, I would probably have to fight a hostile Solaire and take the soapstone from his corpse once I defeated him, as I hadn't triggered some kind of shortcut. Whoa! No, 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 no. I was not happy about this. I wanted to get to know this character, not fight him. I was so looking forward to talking to him and praising the sun and seeing why everyone loves him so much, I would do everything in my power to save him. And on this save file please, because I had already been playing for over 30 hours! As a last hope, she mentioned a chest behind Frampt, which contains key items you may have missed on your adventures, objects dropped in the game that players forget to pick up. Maybe this would save me, and give me a way to obtain the soapstone without having to kill Solaire! I was hopeful, and ran for the chest. Alas, I had already opened it back in 2019. Framed couldn't help me. I had one last chance. On the way to fight the centipede demon, I found an illusionary door, thanks to some notes other players had left on the floor. This led to a spider lady, and an invitation to join the Daughter of Chaos Covenant. After frantic messages to my helpful friend, I learned that if you join the Covenant and offer the Spider Lady 30 humanities, you can save Solaire by opening the shortcut I mentioned earlier. I joined, but didn't have enough humanity, and didn't think that I would have enough time to grind to get enough to open the shortcut. And this is where things got really sad. I really did not want Solaire to die, but to help my friend in their game, my only options were to kill him or start my own game all over again. Accept the death of Solaire, and that my own playthrough would never be the way I'd always imagined, or start the game completely from scratch, and help my friend with a baby night. At this point, I was running out of time. It was a sad moment for Rosie. So, I resigned myself to fighting the centipede demon and murdering Solaire. I abandoned hope, put on my fighting face, and swept aside the bosses standing in my way, powering through battles against ceaseless discharge, Demon Fire Sage, and then the Centipede Demon itself. But then, Solaire wasn't by the bonfire, and there was no soapstone. Oh no. This is it. I can't help my friend. I'm just going to have to start a new game. I pushed onward to Lost Izalith, just to be sure, but Solaire was nowhere to be found. Dark Souls can be like this. The game is a mystery, full of surprises for new players, full of hidden stories and meanings, and full of choices you don't know you're making. Sometimes your actions affect which characters you see and when. I guess I'd done something that made Solaire disappear. Either way, this was it. I'd failed. And then, at just gone 5pm on that same day, Yes! He's alive! Praise the sun! How did I find him, I hear you cry? Well, whilst I was being really sad on my quest, my boyfriend was watching me play, and he looked up a video on YouTube without me knowing. He showed his phone screen to me and said, Have you been here yet? To which I was flabbergasted and said, No, I have never seen this area in my life! I went there immediately, and finally, finally, found Solaire. Standing alone, staring at the sun, waiting for me. Waiting for me in the very first place where you encounter him in the game, oh my god! Yeah, I'd read the end of the bridge as, you know, the other end of the bridge. I mean this bit, off to the right, this isn't the end of the bridge. There is no bridge here, this is pre-bridge. If only I gave in and just looked at a bloody video guide! But I was so happy. So, so, so happy! My save was saved! Solaire was alive! I got the white signed soapstone! Everything was amazing in my life all of a sudden! I told my friend who was helping me all day, and she couldn't believe that he was in the first area this whole time. 
She started sending me many gifts of disbelief and frustration, but Zanair was alive, so I didn't care. <laughs> I was fully invested in keeping him alive now, so I did the rest of his quest. I spoke to him again and again here to make sure he was happy. I went to where he spawns in Anno Londo. There he was, that cheeky man, and spoke to him again and again there. He also wondered if I fancied him, which made me very happy because yes, I did. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me, pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the sunlight altar where he stood proudly and took a picture of us together. I'm not very good at posing. But there was one heavy burden on my mind. Now I'd met Soler, I didn't just want the white signed soapstone, I wanted to save him. Soler goes mad and dies unless you complete his quest in a very particular way, and by this point, because I'd already killed the centipede, my options were limited and I had no idea what would happen to him. I went to the centipede boss arena and he wasn't sat there at all. I may have a chance, a slim one, but it's there. I went on a quick grind quest for humanity, going to the depths and killing rats as I liked avoiding the tomb of the giants as much as possible. Get wrecked, Patches. I then went to the area where I knew Soler would go hostile, and he wasn't there. So I gave my humanity to the spider lady, opened the shortcut, killing all of the creepy crawlies, and rested at the bonfire. It was the moment of truth. Would Soler be there? And if he was, would he be hostile, or the same old Soler who I grew to love? He was alive! Oh my god, I did it! Somehow I saved him! Please don't ask me how this happened, or how I was able to do this in such a bizarre order, but I saved him and that's all that matters. He's sad at this point in the game. Was it all a lie? Have I done this all for nothing? But I was still so happy! He sat so peacefully and beautifully, without any creepy crawlies on his head. On my save, I am currently fighting Gravelord Nito and the Four Kings, so I still haven't finished the game. And when I went back to this area to capture Celeste sitting by the shortcut, he suddenly wasn't there. I don't know if this is because I've attempted two bosses since finding him here originally, or because I was apparently invaded when I went to capture footage of him sat there. But I really hope that A, the invader didn't do anything to him, I don't think they can do anything to him, and B, that he's still alive and is now somewhere else in the game waiting for me to find him. And having this capture from my PS4 of him definitely sitting here brings me comfort that he's okay. Oh, where could they be? I can't look for the sun if I don't have my sunglasses! Oh my god! They were right in front of me this whole time! What if I had seen as a laughing stock? As a blind fool without reason? Well, I suppose they wouldn't be far off. <laughs> and this has been my recent tale on my quest to save Solaire. Were you able to save him? Did you find him with no troubles? Have you praised the sun? Let me know in the comments! Please like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date with the world of PlayStation. Thank you all so much for watching! PlayStation.